A mystery in Baldwin County. What's killing birds at the mouth of Weeks Bay? State wildlife officials are investigating the deaths of more than a dozen seagulls, brown pelicans, and great blue herons. Now, I want to warn you, some of the images may be disturbing for some viewers. Here's News 5's Pat Peterson. Weeks Bay is a popular place to bird watch. Professional wildlife photographer Cynthia Donaski has been taking pictures of birds here for years. We've never seen anything like this. The deaths of more than a dozen birds near the mouth of the bay has Donaski concerned. The thought that this could be a biological cause really saddens me. The thought that it might be human made angers me beyond words. We counted 17 dead birds near the County Road 1 boat launch, including seagulls, brown pelicans, and great blue herons. It's very unusual. I don't normally see that down here. Locals that fish here are not sure what's happening. It's more than I've ever seen in the parking lot down here, so it's, it's unusual. I think it's terrible. I, I can't imagine what's going on, and I just hope they can find the solution for it. And I think they need to be investigated because, you know, the, the birds, is, it, it's part of our environment. I don't know why they're dying. I don't really like for wildlife to be dying, and it really bothers me. State wildlife officials were not aware of the dead birds until we contacted them, but a spokesperson says an agent will be dispatched to Weeks Bay to investigate. Locals have formed their own theories, including illegal shootings, deadly bacteria, and electrocution from overhead power lines. But until wildlife experts get a chance to study, research, and investigate, the bird deaths will remain a mystery. On the Baldwin County Beat, Pat Peterson, News 5. A spokesperson with the Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources says the number of dead birds in that small of an area is concerning and tells News 5 the agency will collect a few for testing.